Oh, hey, Internet, this is Subert. Ah. We got some, uh, disappointing news to mention. The backup drive I have below. Well, the backup drive. I accidentally formatted it. And I lost quite a bit of unpublished or unedited music I was going to shove into it, you know, drop it in the editor. Add an overlay like I usually do and render it. Unfortunately, I formatted that drive and it's all gone. I did not check to see what the contents were on the drive. I thought it was just one of the others because I got it mixed up. I did not fucking label it. Gone. You know what was gone? Many, many jam sessions. Many. This is so utterly fucking disappointing to lose everything just like that. Without thinking. I lost everything. So that really sucks. That's a probably about at least 120 gigabytes worth. Oh yeah. I did it. I did the unthinkable. I didn't check before I formatted the fucking drive. Ah, besides that huge disappointing news, rather very depressing, I gotta say. That was at least three years of music. Besides that, the DVR I have, it's a laptop. That died. So I had to replace it with a spare. I had to reinstall Linux Mint Debian Edition because, right, the other one was UEFI. And, you know, trying to install Grub. It's just not going to work. The non UEFI variety. And it ain't going to work. And I tried maybe about five or six times. I tried my permanently installed USB readable one. Also didn't work. So. That's a bummer. Oh, really? It's a bummer. I couldn't get that to work either. So, that sucks. So, yeah. Did a reinstall. Backed up, restored. I had to, uh... Lazily reconfigure the... Motion sensing application. But other than that, it was just, uh... Two settings I had to correct. Other than that's fixed. Yeah, that... That sucks. The unfortunate shit that happens. That you don't think that's going to happen. But then it does. Yeah. But shit happens. Life goes on. Anything new music wise that I record. If it's going to be backlogged. I'm going to have to make sure I label the fucking drive. Before I format it. I've actually just labeled the drive now so I didn't have to do it later. And forget about it. No, forget labeling the file system. No. You write a physical label on the damn thing. I didn't do that. So I mixed it up with something else. Yeah. Other than that, things have been doing okay. I've been working a lot and uh, that's been keeping me quite busy. I did manage to do that countryside ride which you've already seen. If you haven't you should see it. It's pretty awesome except YouTube seemed to have favored the spot where I was standing up and you know I forgot to Raise the tripe, raise the monopod so it was way above my head when I stood up. It favored the part where my helmet's in front the whole time. Well, unfortunately, that's not the case. The helmet is not in front of the camera the entire time. It's only maybe three or four times where I was standing up just to get up a deep hill. Yeah. Other than that, turned out very good. 
Oh yeah, something else I gotta mention. The AMD GPU issue. That's been solved. That's been completely resolved. Using my test bed system, I installed the modules once again, and uh, fearing the worst, nothing happened. It didn't crash. It didn't break anything. No. This is not the test bed system. This is. So. It's. It succeeded. The AMD GPU kernel conflict for kernels higher than 5.11 is no more. You can freely install the ADP, sorry, AMD modules for your 6000 series graphics card and you won't run into the no signal issue anymore. That is, that is, on Ubuntu based systems such as Linux Mint or pure Ubuntu. I have not verified that on Debian and so this is the case it's probably still a problem so there's not much I can do in that regard and that sucks because I can't expand my adventures and use other distributions I don't normally use on a regular basis yeah that sucks but at least the problem's resolved for the most part. What else is there to discuss about? I re yes, I recently got a new bookshelf. Replacing the uh, milk crate do-it-yourself kind. That was at risk of falling over. You saw it already earlier, but I'll just show it again. Yes, it's a lot better. At least I don't got a... There's no risk of it falling to the ground unexpectedly because the other one was tilted like this off the wall. I would have fallen and it would have hit the floor probably within a few months or more unexpectedly and I would have scared the absolute shit out of me during the night. When I got that built, I had to shift my desk over so... The shelf that's above my desk, I actually had to, I'm not going to be moving that. Luckily there was enough space to squeeze the shelf in there, the bookshelf. Because that is permanently mounted. Unfortunately the light behind it, that didn't move with the desk. So I got to unmount that light. These oh, speakers in front of it, right there. I got to unmount that thing. I got to move it over. This slide, unfortunately, yes, I got to move over too. That's currently turned off, but you know, you get the picture. I'm using a dimmable lamp right now. Not the overhead. It's usually the, it's a pain in the ass, but whatever. Oh, well, I got to shift a few things around that's mounted on the wall. The lamp, for example, and the light. And if you're wondering, I'm currently backing up everything to the 500 gigabyte drive because, well, just in case shit happens, I gotta make a backup. Unfortunately, no, that music is gone. And the, sorry, unedited footage is gone. All gone. So, three years of backlogged uh, vintage jams, gone for good, unfortunately, that are unpublished. Lost in the void. Gone. Okay, well. Oh yeah, another thing is I finally got that uh, Boss BR532 working properly. I had to get a new adapter for it. It wasn't working. Well, it was undercurrented. That's not a good thing. Well, the only way to keep it from getting distorted is this. 
It has to be output for the headphone jack, otherwise, good luck. There will be too much distortion and noise on the line. When I put it through there, silent. It just works. That was the problem. The line out is fucked. But the headphone part is fine. I got that hooked up in between with that Fender amp. And that's the perfect, uh, well, perfect variety for whatever I want to do. Oh, anyways, this apartment's in fucked up beyond all repair situations aside. And the fact that a dead laptop that just suddenly died during the night. That was a DVR. Just used. Everything's going good. And I hope it stays that way. I just gotta remember, uh, Next Thursday to, uh, or this could be Thursday to shut off my computers. Otherwise, the power's in the nick them. And I don't want that to happen. Alright. That's about all. Thanks for watching. Cheers. You have a good day. You have a good winter. You have a good fall. Take care of yourself. And, uh, yeah. Cheers. Feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost a goddamn cent. And, uh, last thing I gotta say, ever since I got rid of those old AMD GPU models, Kid Alive's working flawless. And that's a good thing.